guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. It's November 2nd. Um, it'll probably be November 2nd for you guys because I'm going to try to upload this video today. Um, for this video, I came up with 10... My hair is doing something crazy. I came up with 10 tips and tricks to kind of help your Thanksgiving and holiday planning go a little bit smoother than what it could go. Um, just just kind of like steps and stuff just to... I don't know, to make it more enjoyable and not stressing so much. Because So before we get into this, I want to warn you that you might hear Micah crying in the background because he doesn't want to take a nap, but he doesn't have a choice and he's going to take a nap. I just have to ask before we get started on this video, does anyone like, so when I wake up on November 1st, I just feel like not a whole new person, but it just feels so much different, like because you know the holidays are coming up like my favorite part is like the gift giving food like all the food you make all the desserts you make the food you get from people um and just you know like sending out christmas cards and the music and the movies and the scents that remind you and the leaves changing like it's just something about all of this like it just makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside anyone else feel like that like i can't be the only one Okay, anyways, we're going to go through these 10 little tips and tricks that I came up for you guys, and I hope they're helpful helpful for you. And before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I'd really appreciate it. And please, 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 if you're watching my videos, don't forget to like it. Like, it takes two seconds, and I would really appreciate it. And yeah, so let's get started. So my first one, it's pretty simple. It's pretty, like, duh, you need to do it, is you need to plan out your guest who you're going to have if you are inviting people over or if you're going somewhere, sorry, or if you're going somewhere, you need to figure out what day they're having it so you can like plan for other people's Thanksgivings or anything like that. Like you just need to have set in stone where you're going, who's coming and things like that. So for my second one, it's take inventory on what you have in your kitchen already. Um, so for example, I noticed the other day um, I have a box of stuffing. Um, in my cabinet because a few months ago it sounded really good and I was like I'm gonna buy some and I'm gonna make some with like some chicken or something um, and I never did it and it's November 2nd so Thanksgiving will be here shortly so I already have stuffing I don't need to go out and buy it because I feel like a lot of people will just think about what they want to have and they'll just go out and buy it don't really make a list and don't take inventory on what they have in their kitchen and try to make meals off of what they have it saves you money and it helps you from wasting your food so um if you're having corn and like mashed potatoes like some you know some of these are staples that you already have in your house like potatoes cans of corn or frozen corn or green beans um greens you know mac and cheese like i feel like those are kind of things that people keep in their house so i feel like thanksgiving it can be cheap if you work with what you have in your pantry already please take inventory on what you have in your kitchen because you could be buying things that you already have and yeah so that was my second one my third one is, um, so this is where you make your menu. After you take inventory, you make your menu and you figure out what you're going to have, base it off how many guests you're going to have. Um, so for us, it's just going to be me, Alex, Aubrey, and Micah. So we will make food that is enough for us and obviously for some leftovers. Um, luckily, my job gives everyone a turkey, so I don't have to go out and buy a turkey. So that's super nice. Um, I have stuffing. I just need to get some sides some bread, um, stuff to make desserts, and then, you know, that's pretty much it. And then if you're doing pigeons and people are coming to your house, um, you know, kind of decide early on who's bringing the stuffing, who's bringing green beans or things like that. So you can know what you need to buy and what you don't have to buy. So for number four, buy your turkey. Pretty simple, right? Um, but no, really, I feel like you should buy your turkey pretty early because, um, at least I know at Costco, I think they said they they get pretty low, like, like they go fast. And I haven't had to buy a turkey in the past few years because um, my past few jobs, they just, they give you turkeys. So I'm not too familiar on if they go really fast or if the good ones are gone first or anything like that. And I will say if you're getting a, or like a fresh turkey, I heard those do go fast. So you should buy that pretty soon. I'm not too familiar on getting a fresh turkey, but I heard they don't last, like, long if you're waiting too long. Okay, number five is clean out your fridge. This is very, very helpful. Um, I wish I sort of would have, <laughs> sort of would have, I wish I would have thought about this last year because we had some leftovers and we had no room. So, like, we clean our fridge out pretty frequently, but 
just go through and look. You probably have so much stuff in there that's probably expired or stuff sitting in the back of your fridge that you don't even know about or just leftovers from like a few weeks ago that you forgot about. So clean out your fridge before Thanksgiving. I would say probably a few days before. Give yourself room and stuff like that. Number six is um, if you're having friends over or if you have kids or anything like that, get together what your activities are going to be um, or if you do things like that. So I know a lot of people, if you're having a big family over, you know, you'll do activities. I know um, at my grandma's house growing up, we would do like, um, uh, what were they, like word searches and like little activities kids wise and stuff like that. So that's fun to do. Just print them all out, have them ready if that is something that you choose to do for Thanksgiving. It just helps you out in the long run. Um, number seven, so deep clean your house and prepare for guests if you're having some. Like I said, half of these don't apply to me because we're not having guests. It's just going to be us. And even if we weren't having guests, we have no room for guests. But yeah, if you're having guests, like I would say probably a week before, clean their sheets, clean their comforter, pillows, all of that. Like get that ready. But deep clean your house, um, clean the guest bathroom. I would just, I mean, clean all of it, but clean the stuff that your guests are going to be using because it's just kind of polite, I guess. But yeah, just clean up. There's nothing better than like spending the, you know, the day before and the day of Thanksgiving cooking in a clean house. Like it would suck doing that in a dirty, messy house. So, and I know it's hard with young kids to keep your house clean because I'm not gonna lie, like I cannot keep my house clean for anything, but it is a lot less stressful if you have a clean house while you're doing all this baking because it, it really helps out. Okay, number eight. Where is number eight? Okay, number eight is bake a few of your sides ahead of time. There's so many things that you can bake ahead of time. You can bake your pumpkin pie. Um, basically, any pies you can make kind of like a day before or a few days before. Um, there's so many sides you could probably do. Um, mashed potatoes, you can definitely make those, freeze them, bring them out when you need them, heat them up, add a little bit of butter and milk, and then you're done. Um, if you're making baked mac and cheese, you can definitely bake it, freeze it, take it out heat it up in the oven like there's so many things that you can do ahead of time so you're saving yourself um some time on thanksgiving a little less stressful and more time for you to enjoy your family friends whatever it may be all right we got two more number nine is just i feel like enjoy every day like i said november and december those are my favorite months and i told myself like i'm trying to remain stress-free just calm like and enjoy this because christmas and Thanksgiving well they both just go by so fast like it just it kind of makes me sad how fast they go because there's so many like activities and you know and things that you want to do go see Santa and Christmas at the zoo and just things like that and it just goes so fast so I think that's a pretty huge tip just literally like enjoy every day and end it like you know happy or at least try to be like that's my that's my thing I'm trying to do now not just for Thanksgiving and Christmas but I'm trying to just cut out stress, you know, nonsense, and just be happy, you know? Okay, and last tip is number 10. So this is more pertaining for um, Christmas, but I feel like it's this is a good time to get these, get your addresses for people who you want to send Christmas cards to, because I would say like around Thanksgiving, like probably the day after, you could send out your Christmas cards. So if you're having a big get together, you could probably like set up a little paper, um, or actually an, an idea I found on on Pinterest, sorry, um, is just have a little envelope sitting out and have people write their address on it. So when you put your Christmas cards in there, it, all you have to do is stamp it, put your information on it, and send it. And then it's so much easier. But like I said, if you're having people over, just ask them for it. Go around asking people. Uh, or if you use Facebook, anything like that, um, inbox people, ask them for their address. It just saves a lot of time if you do it earlier rather than later. Because then if you send them out later, you know, with mail issues around the holidays, it could probably not get it in time for Christmas and all the stuff like that. So yeah, I would really recommend um, the thing where I saw on Pinterest where you like leave a pile of envelopes out, let them put their information on it. If they don't want their information out, leave a box out, they can put it in the box. And then once you're done, um, later on that night or probably the next day, whatever, put your Christmas cards in there, stamp it, and you don't even have to worry about asking people directly for their address because you had them sign the envelope. So yeah. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I know some of these tips were kind of like, duh, you need to do these anyways, but I feel like just the simple things like cleaning out your fridge, like you could easily forget to do that. And then come Thanksgiving, you're putting 
away your leftovers and then you realize you have lasagna left over from two weeks ago so just little things like that taking inventory as well I feel like a lot of people don't take inventory on what they have and try to make food out of what they have because they just think of what they want to eat and then they just go buy it so I hope these tips were um, helpful for you guys if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you are new um I have a very 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 exciting series coming up on my channel I'm so excited for you guys to to see it and I'm excited to record them oh, I cannot wait I can't tell you guys what it is yet but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool I've been waiting to do this series but um, for certain reasons I couldn't do it yet but now I'm able to so I'm so excited I think you guys will really like it really enjoy it and yeah so please stay tuned if you're new and you're excited or anxious to know what my series is gonna be just hit subscribe um I I'm gonna say that I'll put this new series out probably around Thanksgiving so a few more weeks but I promise you guys it will be so worth it I think you guys will really enjoy it and I'm going to have such a fun time recording it. So I can't wait. So excited. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.